good evening, everybody, and hello. Um, Suzanne, First Lady's here, Governor Heinemann, Senator Fisher, uh, the Bacons, all of you that are here tonight. It's so good to see all of you. You know, I just have to make a comment because Tony made a comment about the police and support of the police, and so did Governor Heinemann. But you know, in 2020, when the riots, riots and protests were going on throughout the country and here in Omaha too, and the movement was to defund and disassemble the police department, you know, the mayor of Omaha added police officers and increased their budget. <laughs> Boy, did I take a little heat from that with a few people, but you know what? It's the right thing to do. And I have to make another comment about Governor Heinemann. You know, for my three elections, 2013, 17, and 21, Governor Heinemann was there with me. Um, he sat with me and watched those results come in, and he was the MC, and I call him my good luck charm, so it's so good to have him here, too. But Don and Angie, you are really good friends, and I know they are good friends to all of you that are in this room tonight. And beyond being a friend to me and to all of us, and a conservative who you are doing a great job, there's a larger and a much more important reason that this district must reelect Don Bacon again. Nebraska is fortunate very fortunate that after a nearly 30-year career in the United States Air Force, Don unselfishly offered to serve again for more public service as a member of Congress. I know the congressional leadership relies on your advice to help build a stronger defense and to ensure America's continued freedom and liberties, and that is so important. Few people in Congress have Don's experience and understanding of how the military even works. The world faces instability in many places with the potential to affect our security, and we all know that. The principal responsibility of federal government, of any government, is the protection and safety of its citizens. And there are few people in Congress better able to help lead in these difficult times than Don Bacon. I know I want offering strategic advice, someone offering strategic advice and preparing for many forces of aggression across the globe. I know who I want, and I know who we want, and we want Don Bacon. Don, you are dedicated to the principles that protect our country. I enjoy working with you on many issues. We take phone calls, we text message each other, that affect Omaha and the entire second district. I believe strongly that, uh, that, that America, not just the second district, but America needs your leadership and your guidance in Washington, D.C. Nebraska and the second congressional district, we need you too. The mayor of Omaha, I need you too. But your reelection is important, and I, and I know everybody in this room, will do everything we can to help you. I remember when I was running for reelection, Don was walking door to door with me, and I told him I have this system that I do so many houses, I do them really quick. And every door, he would sit there and say, oh, I like this color of paint you have on your house. And I, and I finally would say, would you quit talking? Let's keep going. But I, but I, I, I don't. But I know we are all willing to get out there and help, and that's what's going to make a big difference is that grassroots effort. And I know everyone will do their part, and, th and you all have since 2016. So just a thought here. If control of both houses of Congress changes hands in this election, as many expect, Don and our next speaker will be even more responsible for federal and military efforts to secure our homeland, and I feel really good about that, and I know you all do too. So now I'm happy to introduce our next speaker. Um, as our senior United States Senator, she has proven to be an effective and insightful leader in our party, a respected legislator, an authority on women and family issues, and one who is trusted on national security matters. Senator, you have consistently displayed what we all know you to be, determined, focused, consistent, and hardworking. I, can, I, I gush about Deb Fisher because you have definitely all of those qualities and I'm so glad to know you. Senator Fisher and her team work every day with Congressman Bacon for the benefit of our state and nation and it is great that you are here to voice your ongoing support for Congressman Bacon. Ladies and gentlemen, Senator Deb Fisher. Thank you. 